It's a very, very material thing, I think, this chakra is very material and has to be worked on material level only. Is a center here where most of the left and right side in a way cross on a material level here. Material level, again I say, on material level they cross over here. And when it gets spoiled, you get troubles like sinus and troubles like uh, colds and coughs and all that. So I myself have tried to get this into trouble and to find out what I should do, because if I live as I am, I will never be able to help you. So I said, I better get sick myself to see what happens. Actually what happens with this center being catching? The same thing, the drying up of the nose, of the humidity, because of central heating is there. For Indians, Maharashtrians especially, take a kadak bath, you know, means a very hot water. They use tremendously hot water to take their bath. For them it is very relaxing, which is a absolutely a wrong idea. Normally a cold bath is the best. If not possible, take a tape, tape. You can take little hot and then tepid, absolutely tepid water. That will solve one of the problems, that you do not expose yourself to too much cold or heat. The temperature is kept the same as the room temperature, because you take a very hot bath and then you come out. In London people have died, Indians have died of their lung cancer because they can't get out of their habit of, bad habit of taking bath every morning. I call it bad habit for Indians, not for English, huh? <laughs> because they'll take their bath and immediately go to work. And so many Indians have seen they have got lung cancer, they died. And if you ask them why, we don't feel all right. Then take your bath at four o'clock in the morning, stay in the house, get used to the climate and then go. Or take your bath the night. All extreme behaviors from left to right creates the problem of hamsa. Now what do you do? actually is to <coughs> neglect certain laws of nature. <coughs> like in London or anywhere, it's all heated up inside the rooms, too much heated up, and this very dry. We all know that in England that you have to have a humidifier, isn't it? Must keep some water or something or fill a tub in the bath and keep it open so that there is humidity in the room. <coughs> to compensate for all that, one can do is to take some water and sip in the nose. I would say after brushing your teeth, sip it, try. And try to take it out by putting these fingers, these thumbs in your ears and take it out. That, by that you will clear out your sinuses, you will make it humid. Or for this parched mucous membrane you can put some oil or some ghee, it's very good. If this water can have little, little salt, little salt is a good idea. But that should not be very cold, should not be very hot, should be tepid. 